Today we're going to have a little quick tip, and uh, we all know that there's uh, shortcut keys while you're working in a terminal, and Bash in particular is what we're looking at today, although some of this will work over to other shell environments. Um, so here's an example of keys you probably already know. So let's say we're running a program. I'll just start pinging something. If we want to kill a command, we most of us know that Control-C will kill a command. Uh, we know we can type clear, but you can also type in Control-L and it will clear the screen. There's a lot of other shortcut keys available, uh, and we can use a program called bind to see what the key bindings are. So I'm going to type in bind, and I'm going to do dash capital P, and I'll hit enter. And it gives us a long list of key bindings that we can use. Uh, and if you look at them, we have a backslash C dash X, that means control X. Uh, backslash E is escape, and then whatever keys it's uh, saying to do. So, um, Let's look at some of these. Uh, we got uh, capitalized word can be found escape C. Uh, so let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'll just start typing something. This is a line. I'm going to go back to the beginning here and I hit, uh, what did I say? Escape C? Not escape C. <laughs> what did I say it was? Capitalize. No, it should be escape C. What did I press? Let's give this a try again then. Escapes. Escape C. Okay. Maybe I was holding down escape for too long. But you can see what it does is it capitalizes the first letter of each word. So let's do that again. I'll control C to kill that. I'll say this. Oops, I shouldn't capitalize stuff. This is a new line for me to try. And now I can hit escape C, escape C, and whatever word I'm on, if I'm at the beginning of the word, it will capitalize that word and then jump ahead to the next word. So if you need to go back and capitalize words, I really don't see myself doing that too much, but it is an option. Um, there's other things like yanking lines, which is pulling lines out of stuff. Um, you can see that we have, you know, backwards kill line, backwards kill word, so like escape control H should uh, relate, uh, erase a word back. So if I say this is a line, in theory I should be able to hit escape control H. There we go. And you can see each time I do that it deletes the previous word. So a lot of options in there. Just a quick tip. Maybe some of these you'll find useful. Some of them maybe not. But go ahead, look through the list, see what's available on your system, and have fun. I thank you for watching. I hope you found this quick tip useful. I hope you visit my site. It's filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I recently redid the site, so I hope you check out the new site. I hope you like it. I think it runs a lot more efficient than the old site. Uh, made it easy to find um, my playlists and videos there, bringing up random videos if you're not sure what you're looking for. Um, also, you can go there, download scripts. Uh, or programs I'm working on or music that I've written and the files for those projects so you can edit and manipulate all those um, and I just hope you check out the site if you enjoy my videos which I have plenty up I have up hundreds and hundreds of tutorials I hope you find them useful if you do enjoy my tutorials and my site and find them useful I ask that you consider uh, making a small donation there is a donate button on my website check out the link in the description for my site, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.